Jane Fonda, it is my lucky day today to meet you for the very first time and speak with you. Love your work. And you are actually one of the reasons that I got into covering film, liking film. My mom, who is listening to our right right now, took me to nine to five. She took me to On Golden Pond. You're the reason that I love cinema and theater so much. Well, that makes so me feel so happy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And, yeah. and, I, and we're going we're gonna to talk about the Fire Drill Fridays later and the Jane Pack later because I love all of that and I watch all that and I just am a huge supporter of uh, everything that you Thank do. You. Thank you. All right. I can't believe this is your first feature film in a voice role. I went doing my, I was doing my research and I saw you in other interviews. You said that and I'm like, wow, what drew you in to luck? It was COVID. <laughs> And Skydance, which is a company I know well because they finance Grace and Frankie, offered me this role of a dragon who's the CEO of the Kingdom of Luck. I mean, who's going to turn that down, right? <laughs> when, when it's a company that you know and trust. I got involved early on, so I had a chance to talk with the director and who I liked so much, Peggy, and, and, and the animator before. You know, they, they had just done, they showed me sketches and so I could raise questions like, well, maybe she's a little vain. <laughs> you know, maybe she pays attention to how she dresses. Maybe she has long eyelashes. Maybe she uses her tail like a boa, <laughs> flips it around her neck. You know, Maybe she's a little am ambiguous about the smoke and fire that can come out of her mouth at inopportune times. And you know, things like that. I, I said, I want her to be called babe. That was my idea. Dustin Hoffman told me once that he found voice acting to be more difficult than, you know, in-person acting. Did you find this, e I mentioned several titles at the beginning of our interview. Did you find it easier than, you know, the in-person or, 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 or harder, more difficult? I don't think it's easier or harder. It's just, it's a different set of muscles. It's just, it's kind of a different challenge because you, you're not working with other actors. You're working totally from your, imagination with the help of the director, because sometimes I would do it in a certain way, kind of quietly and more, more personally. And the director would say, no, you're in a huge cavernous space talking to people who are far away. Oh, okay. And so you, you know, you do it over again. So, I mean, you know, in that sense, it's different, but I like challenges. So it, I didn't find it Dif difficult in a bad way. Jane, what do you love about entertainment? What do you love about, uh, you know, caring about the world, being a, a spokesperson for a lot of uh, causes? We need a voice like you. We need you. But what is your drive? What do you absolutely love about all that? Well, I know that I want to get to the end of my life and feel that I have done all that I could possibly do to make things better. You know, I have grandchildren, two of them are in college, one is three years old, and I worry about them having a future. I've had such an amazing life. I have snorkeled on the Great Barrier Reefs. I've climbed the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. I've hiked in the Sequoia National Forest. I've, you know, I've, I've done so much in the natural world, which is where I'm happiest. They may not be able to do that. That breaks my heart. I love birds. We have close to 3 billion fewer birds in North America than we did in 1970. That just breaks my heart. You know, I see birds panting like a dog because they, they're dying of the heat. I mean, I was just in Italy working. It was 104 degrees. Human beings can't tolerate this kind of heat. So I want to fight with every ounce of my passion and energy to get people to get up off the couch and go from concern to action, take action, and try to help people understand what that action might be. And that's why now that I'm home from Italy, I'm going to focus just on that, and I'm going to be live in-person rallies again, and I'm excited. Thank you. Uh, truly an honor to meet and speak with you today. I hope we get to do this in person sometime, but I, I've always looked at you. You're just amazing. Mom, you can say bye. Hi, bye. Mom. <laughs>
together. She said, us girls need to stick together. She said, you and mom yeah. fight. She raised me. She raised me. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, mom. I love you. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>